This is 2.2 problem set in elementary algebra. There are a lot of problems on, on this uh, lesson. In fact, sheesh, there's 93. Good thing I don't assign all of them. Um, one through four, they're just asking you a question there. It looks like some of the examples we did at the very beginning. Um, five through eight, one of those or none of those or both of those are solution sets and you just plug them in to see what you get. So for example, number six, says 3x plus 7 equals 4x minus 6. And what it says there is if I plug 13 in for x, oops, I'm ahead of myself. Is that a true statement when I go ahead and finish that up? And then the b part says, well, what if x is 1? Well, then I write the same equation, but instead of 13, I put 1 in its place and see if that's a true statement. Uh, 9 through 28, you're just solving for the equation. So let's look at number 20. x minus 2 fifths equals negative 1 over 10. So we try to get the x by itself, so I add 2 fifths to both sides. And that goes away. So now I have x equals negative 1 over 10 plus 2 over 5. And I have to have common denominators, so I'm going to multiply this by 2 and the top by 2 in order to make this 4 over 10. So now they both have common denominators. So I'm going to erase this, and we'll put our plus sign here. So now I have negative one-tenth plus four-tenths. Um, remember, when you're adding numbers with positive and negative numbers, if the signs are different, like they are now, we have a negative and a positive, you take the difference between the two, which is three, and it's over ten, because remember, the denominator never changes, and the sign of the largest number goes in front of the fraction. And you're done with that. All right, if you look at 29 through 40, those are very similar, almost exactly like the ones we did for examples, oh gosh, 7, 8, and 9. So just look back on those if you need some help with that. Um, 41 to 52, we've got a bunch of problems there with parentheses. So I'll go ahead and do one of those. Let's pick, well, let's pick 52. Might as well pick the hard one. Negative 5 times m minus 3 plus 2 times 3m plus 1 equals 15 minus 8. All right, so let's distribute here. And we get negative 5m plus 15. Let's distribute the 2, 6m plus 2, because I took 2 times 1, equals 15 minus 8 is 7. Now we're going to combine like terms. I have got an m here, and I've got an m here. Don't forget when you're going to, if you box those in like that, to box the sign in with it. So now I have negative 5m and a positive 6m. If the signs are different, you take the difference between the two, between 6 and 5, and put the sign of the largest number on there, which is the 6. Plus, I've got a 15 and a 2. That gives me 17. And again, whenever I have a positive and a 1, I can just get rid of those. Subtract 17 from both sides, and I get m equals 7 minus 17, or you could write this as 7 plus negative 17, okay? And you would just have m equals that. All right, again, signs are different. We take the difference between the two, put the sign of the largest number on the answer, and we're done. So that's how you would do number 52. Now, number 53 to 70. Solve the following by the method using example 9 of this section. So that method is just what we did for the problem that's on the board or the screen right now, number 52. No difference there. You're just moving things back and forth. The only thing that they do in this uh, second or this last part of problems is they have the the variables on both sides. So if you look at 64, they have 3x minus 7 
and they say that that's equal to 4x minus 6. Okay, so one of the key things you need to do is you need to remember that you've got to get the x's on one side of the equal sign and then just the regular numbers on, one, on the other side of the equal sign. So let's move this 4x right here to the other side. Well, how do we do that? Well, we subtract 4x from this side because there's no sign in front of this 4, so you assume it's positive. So that means if it's a positive 4 to get rid of it, we subtract 4. All right, so we're going to subtract 4 there, and we're going to subtract 4x there. So these go away, and we're left with negative 6 over here. And 3 minus 4x is the same as 3 plus negative 4. I guess those are x's. And when the signs are different, you take the difference between the two, 1, and the sign of the largest one, which is the 4, and we get negative 1x. Now, we have a negative 1x. Remember, we don't have to show that, that 1, but we, that negative has to be shown there. Whenever we have a variable that is a negative, and it's on one side of the equal sign by itself, it's all alone over here, you can change this to a positive if you change the sign of everything on the other side as well. And in this case, there's just one number. But if this is negative, we can change, we change both of them. So we change from negative six, or x equals negative 6 to x equals 6. If this was x negative x equals positive 6, we change this to positive, and we change the sign of the 6 from positive to negative. So you just, if you change the sign from a negative x to a positive x, you look over here and see whatever's over there, and you change every sign, no matter what it is. If it's a negative, you change it to a positive. If it's a positive, you change it to a negative. And that's it. So, um... Think you're probably okay with everything else, so we'll call it quits for problem set 2.2.